Hi, this is Nick Haraz of Creative 111 here with Boris Effects to talk about VR units inside of Premiere Pro and After Effects. These are five great plugins that you can use to enhance your 360 experience in both of these applications. The immersive 360 VR video market is continuing to grow with more outlets for viewing spherical video, as well as working with new 360 cameras, as well as 180, which is a very popular format that is coming up. While we can edit and finish 360 VR video inside of Premiere Pro and After Effects, sometimes we're going to want more control. And what better way than to utilize VCC VR units, which will not only allow us to work in these applications, but cross-platform. So as an editor or motion graphic designer, I can share these filters and effects with someone working in DaVinci and Resolve and have an incredible workflow from start to finish. In this movie, we're going to take a look at Flickr Fixer, VR Blur, and VR Sharpen and see how some of the controls in the BCC VR units are going to enhance our workflows in the Adobe environment. Let me hop inside of After Effects. And if we take a close look at this clip, I'll show you that on the far right hand side where we see these boxes, there's some flicker in the shot. I've already set up a VR comp and I'm going to hop over to the edit portion of the comp so we can have a closer view of the flicker. And I'm going to just choose to turn off audio in my shot and then play back this clip in full frame. And notice the flicker that's occurring there on that shot. So what I'm going to do is under my effects and presets, I'm going to do a search for flicker. And under my BCC VR category, I'm going to select the BCC VR Flicker Fixer and apply it to my shot. Once I do, I can choose from a method to analyze this shot. Rather than a frame analysis, I'm going to do some temporal smoothing RGB based on the luminance and color information that is contained in the shot. This flicker is something that is common when you talk about consumer or prosumer cameras when shooting VR. While you get great portability with them, sometimes we can see after effects of flicker in the shot. With choosing the temporal smooth RGB, as well as starting to play around with various controls, such as increasing the smoothing amount and the number of frames involved in this particular shot, even inside our VR Flickr example, the edit composition, we can do before and after comparisons without having to turn on and off the effect. By going to the compare mode and choosing a side-by-side -side comparison, I can do or play back my composition and be able to see what the results look like from the before composition as well as the results of what happens after. Now let's hop in to another composition. In this particular shot, I have a 180 degree stereoscopic shot, which is left and right, and I'd like to add some blurring to it and potentially keyframe that blur. In fact, if you do a search for VR, you'll reveal all the effects in the immersive video category and the effects that you can use for your 360 workflow. If I drag that onto the clip, you'll notice that I only have two options, one for a monoscopic and a stereoscopic over under layout. And this has only one blurriness control which you can drag up and down. Since this happens to be left and right and also a 180 degree capture versus a full 360 degree, this effect wouldn't necessarily be applied appro appropriately. So let me remove that from the clip and head to my BCC VR blur. Once I apply it to the clip, notice that if we take a look at the source, we have an option of choosing an import format. I'm gonna choose left and right for stereo and make sure that this is seen as a 180 degree capture. Once I do, I could start to use some of the most used blur 360 blur controls with the graphic user interface and get the blur just the way I want. And even better, we can choose different types of edge reflection modes for how we want our blur to appear around the edges of our spherical shot and also separate controls for our X and Y blur, meaning that we could have a horizontal blur without the vertical. If I choose to save this effect, I could save this cross-platform to someone working in another application such as DaVinci Resolve. Last but not least, we have the BCC VR Sharpen. If I select this Sharpen from the default Premiere Pro Sharpening effect under the Immersive Video category, this just offers a lot more control. One is that we have the ability, of course, to increase the sharpening strength, but also play with the fine detail that's in our shot as well as have a lot of controls for detailed tuning in terms of various channels and details that are located within our shot. 
We can also choose from different smoothing control methods to have much stronger control of how we sharpen our image and prepare that for multiple exports, such as to a head mounted display where we'll need to have more sharpening in order for the image to not look so soft. Don't forget that under this control, we have comparison modes to see a side-by-side -side comparison of the before the blur and then after the blur of how much detail it brings out in an existing shot. BCC VR units are a great extension of the Adobe 360 workflow. You should check out the five effects that are there today. There's another movie in Premiere featuring the other two effects, both the BCC VR insert as well as reorients. Download a free trial version of BCC VR units today. I'm Nick Ross from Creative 111. Thanks for watching.